What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys, and I finally got time to actually sit down and make a legit video uh, aside from what I did yesterday, and I'm going to expound on that. So today, I want to talk and tell you about why I'm not super excited for Vegito being a playable character in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Before we get into that, guys, please, if you're looking for a gaming chair, y'all, check out Ewin Racing. Uh, link is in the description box below. You can use code DM Gaming. And it'll give you a 25% off of your purchase. And that does stack on top of any other discounts that they have going on. So check them out. Link is in the description box below. Also, you can follow me on these social media platforms. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, guys, this is, this is my thing with uh, Vegito being a playable character. So first and foremost, I will say that I'm not upset. It's not uh, that I don't want to play as Vegito. Um, just with the structure of the game, I felt like they would have gone a different route than to make him a playable character. Um, I know that the game doesn't just strictly follow the anime. Some people pointed that out, but if you follow the channel, you would be aware that I'm aware of that, you know, such as, uh, these original stories, as well as like the backstories and the sub quests and stuff like that. But those things are put in by Akira Toriyama to expound on the lore of Dragon Ball and it doesn't interfere with the story that goes on. So even when Goku meets, meets Ader, that doesn't interfere with the main storyline because that could have very well have happened before uh, Goku fought Raditz. You see what I'm saying? It's like this is stuff that just we don't see in the anime as time passes by. Same thing with Gohan and Android 16. Their backstory, you know, that's something that could have happened in the anime had they given it more time or had they put it in because there were periods of time that passed, especially, you know, with Goku and Gohan visiting Earth and stuff like that. We don't follow them every minute of the day that they had there. So the thing about Vegito is, is that we know when they use the Patara earrings and we know how long they use those Patara earrings. It wasn't like they got the Pataras later on after they came out of Majin Buu or something like that. You see what I'm saying? That is my main issue with it. The side quests don't interfere with the story. This, in my opinion, does. And it's not a big issue, but it's something that I just, I feel like it's fan service. And I don't mind a little fan service here or there, but I feel like when you start getting into fan service, you start making things a little um, orthodox. And with Vegito being playable, that's another thing that people have to understand what they mean by playable characters. Because I know some people are saying, well, he, that, that means that doesn't mean he's going to be available in free roam. If he is a playable character, he will be available in free roam. That's the point of playable characters. Now, for those of you who are excited about Vegito, you have to understand this. Vegito will be playable. Yes. However, the way that they do their playable characters is that they're only available for that particular time that they were available in the anime. Now, as far as what happens after you beat the game, if you're able to uh, free roam as anybody doing anything, I don't know if that's in the game or not. It would be cool if it would. It would make sense since you've already beaten the story and stuff like that. But don't be surprised. You know, when you get on the game and you're not in the Majin Buu saga starts, you're not immediately able to play with Vegito. Or even after you beat um, Big Buu, Fat Buu, you know, whenever they went inside of Fat Buu, you know, and you fighting Super Buu and Kid Buu, don't be surprised if you're not able to play with Majin, uh, not Majin Buu, if you're not able to play with Vegito during those times. Because they're, they are keeping the game realistic in that aspect that you can only play with whoever was available at that point in time in the story. You get what I'm saying? So Vegito will be playable, yes, but it will be for a very short time. It's not going to be a lengthy time now. Like I said, after the game, you know, will you be able to play with them? I don't know. Now, will you be able to fuse into Vegito in free roam? Don't look, uh, don't look forward to that. Don't expect that. I don't see them doing that. I know a lot of people see, well, they did it in Legacy of Goku. Why can't they do it in this game? Because it's not the same developer. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even, I don't even think it's the same publisher. I don't, I don't know if Atari published uh, that or if Bandai Namco did. I think it was Atari, but I have to digress. But it wasn't the same developer. So don't expect the same kinds of things. Now, like I said, if you can... You, I don't think we'll even be able to go Super Saiyan in free roam, which, guys, that's not a issue because the way that the game works, as you saw Goku run into that robot, Red Ribbon robot, 
uh, back. And then same thing with Vegito and his free roam. It, it transitions immediately into a fight. So it's, you know, I get it. But it's the same thing that I said with transforming into Super Saiyan and free roam. It's purely fan service at that point. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with it. But you have to ask yourself, is it truly necessary? Because you do have people who legit get upset because certain things aren't in the game. And if Super Saiyan and free roaming in the game, you'll have people saying, well, I'm not buying it. Or if you can't fuse in the Vegito, well, I'm not buying it and things like that. So y'all have to listen to those things and take all of those things in and understand what they mean when they say playable character. For example, Vegeta is a playable character, but you're not going to be able to control Vegeta in the fight against Raditz. Why? Because he wasn't there at that time. You're not going to be able to play with Vegeta until he was available to be played with or until he was available in the anime on their side. And that's when you get to play dynamic. You see what I'm saying? Same thing, you know, when Goku's not there, you know, he's not going to be a playable character on certain missions unless they have him like on King Kai's planet and stuff like that. So when you're training with Gohan on Earth with Piccolo, Goku, you're not going to be able to use Goku on Earth. You see so Vegito is in the game. Yeah, he's playable. Yeah, but I mean, what side quest is he going to do? That's my question to you guys, because if he's able to fly around in free roam, he's able to train and do stuff like that. Now, here is the reason I believe they made him playable is because with each playable character that you have, you need to level them up. Like when I unlock Team Gohan, I don't think Team Gohan is going to automatically be unlocked at whatever level Goku is at. No, I think that I would like to think that he's going to start out either at level one or could potentially start out at, you know, a higher level, you know, maybe level 20 or something like that, 25. And you have to train him up by doing side quests and training and stuff like that, guys. I can see them doing that because that's going to extend the longevity of the game. It's also going to get you familiar with the character as well as their skills and attacks and stuff like that each character that's playable has a skill tree that you can level up so you know each character that you play with and unlock more than likely you're going to start at level one you're going to have to level them up that is the beauty of this game so they doing the same thing with vegeto which in my opinion doesn't make sense because vegeto is a fusion character and it would be very simple just to have vegeto uh be a combination of Goku and Vegeta's levels or an average or take the highest level of the two or add the two together, you know, something like that. You know, there was there's another way that they could have done that, because my issue with it is I know there's not much balancing in the game. However, how strong is Vegito going to be in the game? You see what I'm saying? Um, with the game being single player, and there's not much balancing. I imagine he's going to be pretty powerful. and He's going to hit pretty hard. But, you know, I, I just what i just don't see what side quests would we do with him you know what what stories are they gonna add some original stories to it which doesn't like i said doesn't make it sounds cool on the surface guys but it doesn't make sense i'm we gotta think logically here think realistic does that make sense it doesn't because there was we saw all the time that passed from when goku and vegeta fused into vegeto to when they defused inside of boo's body the patara shattered they broke they didn't have the patara anymore so we know everything that went on with Vegito. Vegito is not the same as like, say, uh, the time between them coming back to Earth and Goku coming back from planet Yardrat. All that time that passed or even when Goku got back from Yardrat. There are things that happened that passed that we that that time is unaccounted for in a sense because we didn't follow them 24 hours of their day. You see what I'm saying? So there is things there that are left unanswered. Goku's time on Yardrat is left unanswered but vegeto's time in the anime and the manga is fully accounted for therefore it doesn't make sense in my opinion to give him side quests and things like that because what is he gonna do you see what i'm saying that's why i truly say that it's nothing more than fan service and I am i gonna play with vegeto yeah am i gonna have fun yeah and we talked about it in that video that if they do make him playable then it'll just be your fuse as Vegito and you have to go to the mission marker to kick it off against Majin Buu. If you go check that video out, you'll see that we did say that. But at the same time, I still didn't feel that they would make him a actual playable character. Now, I'm interested to see when the V-Jump scans come out, what do they mean by playable? Because it's very real possibility that, you know, they could mean exactly what I said because 
in a sense, if you look at the first interview they did about the game, they did talk about uh, being able to control the characters and they hinted that, you know, you'll be able to control them somewhat. You know, they didn't just give it away that you'll be able to fully control them. And I guess the somewhat means they're not playable at all times, just when they're available at specific times in that mission or in that anime. And I think it's the same way with Vegito. It could possibly be that he's playable. But what they mean by playable is that you can only control him within that particular mission. Maybe he's not available in free roam and stuff like that. And that's what I want to ask you guys. If that is the case, are you still excited? Because that's what we speculated would happen. Is the same way that Goku goes Super Saiyan is the same way that, that you're fighting against Fat Boo. And within that fight, you know, they go to, you know, you have uh, transitions in the fight. And one transition is that they fuse and go into Vegito. And you get the fight as Vegito. And he that doesn't make him playable as far as the free roam and stuff like that goes. You know, they could mean playable by that. So we won't know until we get the V-Jump scans out and get a little bit more information on it. It is definitely interesting, but I feel like if they're announcing him as a playable character, then that means that you will be able to free roam with him. But that is speculatory at this point. Uh, based off of what they've said about playable characters, that's what I feel like it is. But I do feel there still could be a potential that he is playable in the sense that you can fully control him within that particular fight, but not in free roam. Because like I said, it just doesn't make sense to the way that the game is structured as well as how uh, it played out in the anime. Because like I said, the original stories that they've added to the game, those are times that could have literally happened in the anime because like I said, they weren't accounted for. 24 hours within the day but guys let me know what y'all think down in the comments section down below it's a very interesting topic and i can't wait to see the v jump scans to get more details on it and to see it as well but that's all i have for right now y'all appreciate y'all for watching till next time peace